Hello everyone! In this video, we'll explore how to create a map in Zabbix, a very useful tool that helps you visualize your network, servers, or other monitored devices. Here is an example of a map created in Zabbix. As you can see, all devices and connections are clearly visualized, making it easier to monitor the system status and quickly detect any issues. Also in the previous video, we learned how to upload custom icons. You can use these to make your map more visually appealing, or simply stick with the default Zabbix icons. If you're not sure how to upload your own icons, check out the video linked in the description below. Now to start creating a map, click on the monitoring menu on the left hand side. Then, select maps from the list to access the map management section. This area displays a list of maps that have been previously created. From here you can view, edit, or create new maps depending on your monitoring needs. In this video we'll create a new map by clicking the Create Map button at the top right corner of the page. In the Name field, enter the desired name for your map. In the Width and Height fields, enter your desired map dimensions. For example, here I'll set it to 1200 by 900. Next, check the two options, Icon Highlight and Mark Elements on Trigger Status Change. These settings will make it easier to spot issues on the map when something goes wrong. Finally, click the Add button to create the new map. Right after that you'll see the map you just created appear in the list. If you want to edit the map's properties, click on the Properties button. Here, you can make any changes you want, don't forget to click Update to save your changes. Now, click on the Edit button so we can start adding elements to the map. To add a device to the map, click the Add button in the Map Elements section. In the Type field, select Host to add a specific device to the map. In the Label field, you can enter any name you like, or to display the exact name and IP address of the host, you can use the following format like I'm doing here. Feel free to copy this format so you can quickly add more elements to the map without typing it each time. Next, in the Host section, click on the Select button. Here, select the host you want to add to the map from the available list. Next, choose an appropriate icon to represent your host. Selecting the right icon makes your map more intuitive and easier to monitor. Finally, click the Apply button to finish adding the host to the map. And that's it! You've successfully added a host to the map, however the host name and IP address might not appear right away. Don't worry, that's normal. Just move on for now. In the same way, go ahead and add other hosts to your map to complete your monitoring layout as needed. Alright, now we have two hosts on the map. Next, we'll create a link between these two hosts to represent the connection or relationship between the devices. First, during this step, press and hold the control key, then click on the two hosts you want to connect on the map. Then, click the Add button in the Link section to start creating a connection between the two hosts. Immediately, you'll see the link between the two hosts created and displayed on the map. You can also add a note or label to the link between the two hosts by clicking on the Edit button. Then, enter the content you want to add as a note or label for the link. Alright, now you know how to create hosts and link them together on the map in Zabbix. Pretty simple, right? 
Finally, don't forget to click the Update button to save all the changes you've made. And that's it. Now you'll see the connections between your devices displayed on the map, and it will also reflect the real-time health status of each device, making your monitoring clearer and more effective. Good luck with creating and managing your monitoring maps in Zabbix. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss future tutorials. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.